Welcome to the Ask Jordan podcast, answering your questions about selling on Amazon. Now, he's peeled off more prices than a family of shoplifters. From Long Island, New York, here's your host, Jordan Malik. Hello, listeners. Jordan Malik, your host of AskJordan.net. Thank you so much for listening. This is our 20th podcast. You are making this podcast what it is. And that's not lost to me. If it wasn't for you, this podcast would not exist. I would not have active listeners. I wouldn't have active callers. And I'm very, very happy that you enjoy the podcast and that you're finding it useful. Every episode, we answer one question from you, the Amazon seller or the Amazon, uh, the person who's considering selling on Amazon. So if you've missed any of our other podcasts, your question may be already answered. Go to askjordan.net. And you'll be able to instantly uh, watch the previous podcasts on YouTube or listen to them on iTunes or download them right there to your desktop. You can get seven of my best selling ebooks if your question is answered on this podcast. So at the end of this podcast, in just a few minutes, I'll tell you exactly how to do that. Our question today is from Laura. Go ahead, Laura. Hi, Jordan. My name is Laura, and I just found your podcasts and love them and really appreciate you for doing them for us. We um, are spending a lot on shipping. Shipping items to Amazon is um, – how do we save money on that? Thank you. Bye. Okay, Laura, I, I'm assuming when you're saying you're spending a lot on shipping, I'm assuming that you're sending your products like many of the – Amazon sellers do. We send our products into the Amazon fulfillment warehouse in bulk, right? Um, so you have two choices. It's an Amazon seller, and you can mix and match. You can ship some products from home using your own preferred shipping methods to the end customer, or you can um, apply and and be accepted for FBA fulfillment by Amazon, where you ship your products into one or several Amazon warehouses that you you actually typically don't get to control which warehouse it goes to. And I think that's where you're leading, Laura, is um, in any case, Amazon sellers who sell via FBA get a subsidized rate, at least in the U.S. they do, a subsidized, meaning discounted rate, to sell, send in their items to the Amazon warehouses that sent in by UPS. So for me, for instance, I'm in uh, Long Island, New York. Most of my items that I sell on Amazon are automatically uh, routed um, to the Pennsylvania warehouse, which geographically is not too far from here. It's probably a five or six hour drive, but it's in the Northeast region. And I pay, you know, I pay a relatively low amount for a, a, a I don't know, large box, 18 by 18 by 18, filled with, uh, you know, 25 items. I might pay like nine, ten dollars for that one box. The, the, rounded number that I typically end up seeing when I divide up the shipping cost among my items, I'm seeing like anything as low as like 20 cents per item to, I don't know, 55 cents if I have a bigger item. So if I'm, in other words, if I'm sending multiple items in one box, I in my mind, I'm taking my shipping cost for that one box, which Amazon tells you when you're processing the shipment through the Amazon seller interface, Amazon will tell you this shipment costs, you know, $26. And in my mind, I'm saying to myself, like, it's $26, and that's 100 items. So that comes uh, uh, comes to whatever, 26 cents per item. Okay, so uh, Laura, what I'm, I have a feeling you are in a region of a country where when you're sending your items to Amazon, Amazon is forcing you to send the items to multiple warehouses somewhere on the other side of the country. Okay, and I'm assuming that's what your question is. Now, if you have... Uh, multiples of the item. If you're you're getting quantities of like fifty, let's say you have fifty kitchen knives to send in, and they're all the identical item, and Amazon is making you split those up to different warehouses across the country, then you can get Amazon's inventory placement service, and it costs thirty cents per item for all your items. It's an automatic price that's that's added for every item you sell you sell via FBA, regardless of where it goes. And it's thirty cents per item. Um, I, I don't know if that's your dilemma, but if that is, here's two links for you that will help you. Uh, one is the official Amazon inventory placement service page. And remember, this is only going to apply to you 
if you're having the problem of having quantities 25 of an item, 10 of an item, 15 of an item, and you want them all consolidated and sent to one warehouse, this only, this is only going to help you then. If you're like me, when I started, I had onesie, twosies, that one of this, two of this, one of this, three of those, etc. That's This service doesn't help me um, because it, it doesn't apply to... Uh, to individual items. It's really meant for when you have multiples of a single skew, what they call a single skew, or it's the identical item in, in multiple quantities. So the uh, URL is a redirect. It's bit.ly. It's B as in boy, I as in indigo, T as in Thomas, dot L as in lollipop, Y as in yellow, slash AIPS and the number one. That's A as in Amazon, I as in inventory, P as in placement, S is in service and the number one, not the word one, but the number one, bit.ly slash AIPS1, all lowercase. And the other link is some conversation from other sellers in the official Amazon seller forums talking about it, bit.ly slash AIPS2. So it's just like your previous link that I just gave you, but it ends in AIPS and the number two, bit.ly slash AIPS number two. Now, Laura, if you're if that doesn't help you because you've got various different items and you got all these crazy shipments going everywhere, there's a few things that you can do yourself to help manage that dilemma. And I, I my brother-in-law sells on Amazon. He's got the same problem. He's in Las Vegas and his he's he's sending stuff to like Tennessee and Virginia. Um, the first thing that you can do is f- start focusing your sourcing on smaller, lighter products. So your whole goal is to get as many products as you can within one box without damaging anything or cramming it in or making it uh, uh, um, potentially uh, damaging the the content. So obviously you want to be careful the way you package things. But if I'm out scouting and I'm in your shoes, I'm going to be deliberately avoiding bigger, bulkier items. uh, And I'm going to be focusing more on either small items or lightweight items or both. Okay. Because I want to get my shipping cost as I'm, as I'm sourcing products, I want to take on the mentality of keeping, keeping my shipping costs as low as I can. So you better believe that you find you're going to go look for a bunch of products and you're finding, uh, uh, headphones, different, uh, different style of earbud headphones that are on sale for $5 that are selling for 16 on Amazon. You better believe that's where a lot of your money should be going. Right, because earphones are light, uh, earbuds are lighter, and uh, they're um, obviously in a small package. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. The other thing that you can do is you can, uh, this isn't ideal, but if you're finding that you're processing all your inventory and you've got like two items going to this warehouse and one item going to that warehouse, and it's not cost effective for you to send them there, you can wait till you build up more products for that specific shipment. So the next, you just stick those boxes aside that you that are uh, that contain contents. Uh, one in the onesie twosie stuff that's going to a warehouse here, and onesie twosie that's going to a warehouse there. And you wait till you get more stuff, and you just hope that Amazon, as you're processing it, Amazon allocates it to the same shipment, right? So you can build up the number of items you have in the box to help decrease that total shipping cost per item, right? So if you know that a, a box is gonna cost you $15 to ship, make sure it's got, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 items in it, okay? Um, let's see, another thing that you can do, and I know this isn't ideal, but another thing you can do is, um, I, I think that Amazon is going to eventually come up with a solution that's gonna help their sellers. So it's in Amazon's best interest, obviously, to have products that are distributed everywhere at all their warehouses. So they force you as a seller to um, ship things at, uh, that are economically at a disadvantage for you. But I have a feeling they're going to do one of two things. Either more, where, well, we know more warehouses are going to be built. So your pain just may be temporary. I, I have a feeling that Amazon is going to come up with either efficiencies or new new facilities that are going to make it easier for you to be able to send all your stuff to one warehouse or a a bunch of regional warehouses. Um, Amazon introduced something that you cannot get right now that I have, and I think it's called premium placement. So um, I pay, I think it's like a dollar per item 
to have all my items go, but essentially the bulk of my items go to a single warehouse. And I was accepted into that as a beta tester of it. Um, and that's, that saves me in the aggregate a lot of money um, because I'm shipping all my items. Uh, 99% of my items are going to like one region. And uh, that enables me to keep my shipping costs of those items to the Amazon warehouse extremely low. So I have a feeling that Amazon, it's really going to be a way for Amazon to make more money if they can say to you, Laura, if you're tired of sending all your items to different warehouses, we'll, consoli- we'll consolidate it and reroute it for you. But it's going to cost you X amount. And I forget if it's a dollar per item or 60 cents per item that I'm paying. For me, it's the time savings. I mean, yes, I'm saving some money in the shipping. Uh, or I, I may be breaking even on what I would have paid if I, if I wasn't accepted in the beta program. But um, for me, it's a time saver because I'm creating a shipment going to one place versus creating multiple shipments going to multiple places. And it's going to kill, kill an extra 45 minutes of my time. So, Laura, I hope that does help you. I wish I had a better answer. But, it, you know, there's things that you can do. You can, in your mind, uh, price your items accordingly. If, you're, if you say to yourself, look, at this is costing me $25 to send this box of 25 items. That's a dollar per item. You may want to consider raising your price accordingly to make up for that shipping cost. Um, that's another thing you can do. So I hope that answers your question, Laura. Laura uh, gets seven of my best-selling ebooks about selling on Amazon and eBay. They're worth well over $75 total. Laura, please contact me at askjordan.net. Click on the little envelope icon near the upper right-hand corner of the page where it says under where it is under contact me and send me an email so I know where to send those books to. If you, the listener, if you have a question about selling on Amazon you'd like answered, go to askjordan.net or call 516-619 online. That's 516 516- 6196654 if i pick your question to answer you'll get 7 of my best selling ebooks just like laura total price for everybody else is over $75 and you get to hear your voice on my podcast while you're there at askjordan.net please subscribe to my free newsletter giving tips to amazon and ebay sellers i give away a ton of ideas strategies examples of what to sell how to save money etc go to askjordan.net scroll down a little bit on the right hand side of the page You'll see the sign-up form for the free newsletter. Hey, thanks so much for listening to the Ask Jordan podcast. We'll see you again in our next episode.